joining us tonight, national inflation is causing concern for many consumers. We're seeing rising gas prices, a chip shortage causing car prices to go up and natural gas prices escalate as well, just to name a few. So it might be time to keep a closer eye on your pocketbook these days. Camaria Bray spoke with a financial analyst today to learn how we can all best budget our money. And Camaria, what did you learn? Well, if you find yourself in a financial bind, a big thing is to get a pen and paper out or an electronic device and write down your spending and find out where you can cut corners. Some believe that money rules the world. And whether you believe it or not, one thing that is true is that we need money for some of our most essential tasks. With shortages and prices rising nearly every direction we look, it can be stressful. I think the people that you know, get hit the hardest and start to notice that the soonest are, you know, maybe people that are retired that are on a really fixed income. And now when things start costing a lot more and your income isn't going up, now all of a sudden you can, you know, purchase less than you did uh, a year or two ago. Elliot is a financial planner who says inflation could hit hard for people on a fixed income. But he says one thing to help anyone is to budget their money. You can block off 15 minutes a week or half hour every couple weeks. He says monitoring your budget regularly helps you clearly see what financial changes could be made. Just about bringing your spending in line with your values and um, figuring out maybe there's another area, maybe you haven't logged into Spotify in two months and that's where you want to cut a little bit of money. He also suggests that people check their auto payments to see if there's something they're paying for that they forgot about or don't even use. And he has some other suggestions. You could maybe pick up some shifts at work if that's an option for you. Um, or, you know, maybe that, that's a good opportunity if it's end of year or during your next review with your, with your manager. It's a good, good opportunity to consider asking for a, a raise and, um, you know, explaining the value that you bring and that, hey, you know, things are costing more for me and my family too. And um, there's not uh, a huge downside to doing that. He also suggests people put money into a high interest saving account so they can earn money over time. Back to you.